I lost on my single chance. How we all do it? Because right now, brothers are shaking. Everybody's doing helicopters right now. We even have the homie, Mr. Dalek. <gasps> Oh, I'm shaking. He started shaking as well because we have some good news. It has been a rare day, my brothers. Nobody thought that we're ever gonna see a day come true like this. Obviously, we got season one, right? Season one is coming from uh, for, for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone alongside a new Warzone map. It's gonna be a free update, like I did a thing. It's gonna be coming on December the 6th. But not just that, guys. They also officially talk about skill-based matchmaking. Activision has officially yep y'all sickers might want to sit down man because those bozos they dead ass talk about skill based management and we are talking about skill based management right this is the algorithm that they use to sell uh, those uh, call of beauty skins right Bruh. also known as friendly 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 you know, it's also known as friendly UAV online. So they use the skill-based matchmaking an algorithm to, you know, get you to uh, be on the game. They want to finesse you. They also find out how many kids you have or how many kids you're going to have. Are you like incompetent? Are you a ladies man? Are you going to be able to carry your bloodline forward? And like, and are you going to be able to have a soccer team or you're just going to be able to have like one or two kids and, and, and your stamina game is like weak yeah. AF like that. So basically, they know everything. You play five matches and these suckers know everything about you, okay? Y'all suckers need to wake up. Smash the like button and subscribe right now if you're awake right now, okay? But today they officially talked about skill-based matchmaking. And I want to dive right into the story, guys. There's a video that I want to show you as well. Modern Warzone just came out now allegedly this has been reported by swag uh so we're talking about swag his word is as good as you know nadia uh, swag likes to swag likes to think 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 obviously he's been known for allegedly criticized and allegedly accused i should say of cheating by the homie call of shame uh some of you suckers believe that some of you do, uh, don't but that, that's not the point the point here is that he was told by activision and modern warzone just reported by saying break it Official statement from the Call of Duty team regarding matching and skill-based matching in Call of Duty potentially the first time they've ever publicly spoken about it and I quote we know that there is a lot of interest in the matchmaking experience thank god wow finally right like wow wow you did cool. finally you suck is realized Finally, you suckers realize that there is interest that people want to know, that people are hating. People don't like being manipulated by your algorithm, okay? People don't like this algorithm. So they finally, uh, obviously, they have known this for a while. Four years, my brothers. Four years. Uh, especially around how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together. Nothing is more important to us than the experienced players have the game. It, 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 it took y'all suckers four years to realize that nothing is more important than the player. I mean, give it up for y'all suckers, man. I'm gonna give it up for y'all suckers, bro. Finally, finally, right? ये तो वही बात होगी ना इन उर्दू अब लाइक जैसे गाइस बच्चा खड़ा ना हो बच्चे का खड़ा होना चाहिए ये तो वही बात कर रहे हैं ना ये चूतिया पा पैंचो साले यार भैंस ये भैंस चोर है यार पैंचो साले लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द फैक्ट दैट दे आर लिसनिंग एंड दे शे दैट यप नथिंग इज मोर इंपोर्टेंट टू अस देन द एक्सपीरियंस प्लेयर्स हैव विद द गेम आई मीन दैट दैट गॉट बी कैप बिकॉज़ Recently, they have been adding AI bots in the game. We also have seen the player count on Steam, although it's Steam, it's not PlayStation and Xbox. But we have heard from Phil Spencer and during the, uh, you, you know, when Activision and Xbox and PlayStation, they were fighting to acquire Call of Duty, you know, and PlayStation was making sure that the deal doesn't go through. Phil Spencer was making sure they get the Call of Duty rights and indeed they got Call of Duty, right? And during that whole FTC and during that whole like lawsuit or not even lawsuit but but like in courtroom, right? They also did share the fact that number one player, the most amount of players are on PlayStation, which I mean, hey, we know that. Then secondly, it's not on Xbox, but it's on Steam. So the most amount of players are, that play Call of Duty after PlayStation is on Steam on PC though, which is something that we never really thought about. And recently we're hearing that the, the player count is just falling. It's the player count has been going down like crazy. And they even have like in the, the same bracket, they have Modern Warzone, 
They also had Modern Warfare 2022 and they also added this brand new patch, $70 patch, uh, Modern Warfare 3 in three games and the player count is still like uh, 100k. It jumped up to 200k when Modern Warfare 3 first came out but you guys gotta understand when Modern Warfare 2022 came out it jumped up to almost a half a million. Bruh. Million half a million and right now they're struggling to be above uh, 100k over on steam obviously playstation numbers would be higher but but that kind of tells you that the the, the the people are not enjoying the game that much the way they used to skill based matchmaking is one of the massive contributor but there are a lot of other contributing aspects too like uh we didn't even have a single new map obviously with season one we are going to be getting new maps but the game is just a uh, dlc it's a patch it, it should have been for modern warfare 2022 but they were like okay you know what i mean so there are multiple multiple uh, reasons what i'm trying to say here is that shout out to the community shout out to all yeah, of you guys out there because of you because of all of you singers putting the pressure on and constantly talking criticizing asking about skill based match again finally they're doing something but hey man I have to be I have to keep a buck 50 it's not necessarily that we've been talking although yeah we can all be like yeah man we you see we as a community we came together we started talking about it and now after four years they listen that I, I gotta say that's like five percent that probably contributed five percent of the way through the biggest reason they even are talking about this is because the player count is going down and a lot of people didn't buy the game this year though and the main reason we know this the, the reason we know this that not many people bought it is because they even uh, did it this time is this is probably I believe the second year or the first year I believe they did confirm the 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 sales of Modern Warfare 2022 but this year they did not they didn't even tell us how many units they sold okay they might in the future they might not but this time they're not they're keeping it very hush hush and they're not talking about how many sales they have how many copies they sold for Modern Warfare 2023 and uh, the reason is simple right we bought a lot you you pair that up with the steam numbers and the steam numbers are going down so maybe the reason is uh, simple that y'all suckers myself included i didn't buy Modern warfare 3 the re may maybe wow right sounds crazy shocker maybe this time people really said enough is enough not gonna buy call of duty this year sales count went down and they're like whoa whoa what's happening you know we okay sadly we gotta listen to our fan base sadly we gotta talk about it and maybe this is a reason so they say nothing is more important to us than the experience players have with the game cap and matchmaking is a big part of that we've been working on our matchmaking system for well over 10 years and we continue to spend a ton of time and energy on improving this uh y'all y'all singers are not just spending energy and time y'all bozos are spending your your billion billions and billions on this second out here just so you can sell those call of beauty skins those you know what I mean, right? Matchmaking process. This involves people working at over Call of Duty Studios, our back-end services teams at Demonware and other groups like our Players Insights team. It's a large effort that we worked on for many years and our approach combines latency, search time, and skill along with many other factors to try to find the best... <laughs> to try and find the best match experience for you talking about this topic in detail can be hard we we understand we surely know i mean listen the call of duty players they know how hard it can be it took y'all seconds four years four years four years to even acknowledge and these seconds didn't even say skill based matching and they just uh, said skill contributing to how lobbies and matches they're talking about skill based matching but they're still talking in riddle they they want to say it. they want to speak on it but they are like, nah, man, we, we gotta find, like, uh, we gotta talk in riddle. But make no mistake, they're talking about skill-based matchmaking. And talking about this topic in detail can be hard. And we haven't spent uh, the time to pull together all of our work to share with uh, with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after Season 1 launches. And we'll also make it a part of our ongoing discussions with the community, <laughs> boys. Give it up, man. Give it up for these suckers. Give it up for these twats, bro. Finally, they're listening. At least it feels like they're listening. You never know. They might have created like a new algorithm. So they're going to be talking about this, cover their ass with this, 
and release another algorithm. Oh shit! Oh, you shit. never know though. You gotta, guys, gotta be awake, okay? Gotta stay awake. And in the words of the homie Blame Truth, roll it. Blame Truth here, the Codfather himself, bringing you another video. It has been a long time coming, man. It's been what? Four years now, over four years, just, just yeah. a hair over four. <sighs> and they're finally doing it. They're finally, finally. doing it. They're talking about skill-based matchmaking. Finally. I cannot believe it. It's the revolution, my brothers. It's the revolution, man. Yo, Say whatever ball about ball. Sledgehammer My Balls, though. Say whatever about Sledgehammer My Balls. I, I know they're considered to be like on the low, low end when it comes to the Call of Duty Studios, but these things are way better than Infinity Tart. Infinity War should never be making the, uh, another Call of Duty game ever. Period. But guys, click on this video on the screen. These things were caught cheating under God's hot sun. Click on this video on the screen. We recently made it. I even made a cameo appearance in this video. Click on it and I'll see you right there. Check it out, man. And on the left, I have this brand new ghost video series. Uh, this is a new series that we just started. If you love horror videos, check it out on the left and I'll see you right there.